Hello, everyone. We are back again. Chrissy Tanner from Common Sense Education. And you might see my elderly cat is making a special appearance today. I did have to pay her a little extra, but it's worth it, I think. So today, um, Tanner's going to take the lead. But remember that our videos come out every Tuesday. So you just pop in there. You get some great information and then you're on your way in and out. Good information and goodbye. Today, Tanner, what are you going to tell us about? So I've got a tool that if you want to follow along, this may be a good one to kind of open up in another tab. Do not close this window. <laughs> Don't leave us. Well, subscribe and then leave. Then you can just close. Then the transaction's done and we're, we're set. <laughs> But you may want to follow along with this one because this is a cool, short, interactive experience. I'm going to go through it, but you may want to go through it yourself. Um, it's a site called uh, Most Likely Machine. And how do I... I can't seem to get this up on the screen here. Am I missing something? There we go. There we go. Okay. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I figured it out. We've done it. Um <laughs> As a review on our site here, it's a four-star review. This is a, a, an interesting one, though, because while we gave it a four-star review, uh, one of our scores went all the way down to the two, and I'll explain what that, that's all about. But the pitch here is this is a site that in an experience that is maybe you know a half hour under will help your students understand algorithms, which are this thing we hear about, we know they run our lives on all of these social media platforms. They're so, so important, but it, there's not much out there for students to learn about them. And I think this is a really good example of a site that, that tries to do that. So let's jump in here. And it's all, it's just a site you click through and you interact with, and I'll try to do this as quickly as possible to give you a taste of what's, what it's all about. Um, and this is kind of the structure here of what the, these are like the learning objectives, what they're trying to explain through this experience. Um, but you click through and the premise here is that you're a middle school and you're trying to come up with class awards for your yearbook. Um, and what this program is trying to teach us is that algorithms make decisions for us, but they're often biased or inaccurate decisions. So as we try to give our class awards out for our yearbook, we'll see how the algorithm might break down and not quite match up with our expectation. So the what you've got is here are your students at your middle school, these kind of famous historical figures. Um, and what we're trying to do is predict, is how the, have the algorithm predict the winner of these middle school awards. Um, so you go through and you select who you think should uh, win these awards based on whatever, you know, like, I, you know, there's, you, you can have your own logic to this. And that's sort of the fun thing is like, who's like, who's the top university person? Well, it's Einstein. Who's most likely to go viral? Well, it's Amelia Earhart. And you'll have in your mind a reason for that, but the algorithm will have their own. And then what you do is you sort these cards, like the trait of adaptable. Who does that fit best with? Aggressive, well, that's gonna be the troublemaker. Athletic, maybe that person will get into a top university. And you sort all of these cards. You know, let me just try to get through this as quickly as possible. <laughs> it's a little bit tedious. Uh, but while I'm doing this, one thing I love about this is the design is incredible. Um, we don't often come across tools that look this cool and are this easy to use. And that's because um, the people behind this are a design consultancy. They're a design studio and they try to make things for social impact. So once you have all this sorted, you can fine tune them. You can rank these based on what you think is the most important for each of these categories to kind of tune your algorithm, do ranked choices. All of this presents great learning opportunities to kind of talk this through a classroom of like what you're doing here and how that matches with what Instagram may be doing behind the scenes. You could totally 
see a, a, a great teacher like opening up their Instagram and showing or the Facebook and showing how, you know, if you go into your data and Facebook, you can kind of see like Facebook does this for everybody already. They kind of categorize you like, oh, this person likes cats, for instance. Um, so there's great learning opportunities. And then once you rank them all, you run your algorithm. And this is the choices that the algorithm then makes. And you can compare those to your own choices. They have a little learn why here where they show how the algorithm chose uh, Jackie Robinson for this versus your choice. It kind of gets into a little explanatory text here about why there are problems with algorithms. And really makes a, a strong pitch here. It's one of our critiques in this review is it's a little one-sided. I mean, we all understand algorithms are, uh, you know, they have their problems. You could see someone maybe presenting a bit more of a balanced perspective, but um, it does make a strong point. Um, and then a nice little review section here at the end. And it prompts you when you get done with everything that you can build the algorithm again. So it's, you can see like, this is a very, very quick experience. It's like the perfect hook for a lesson. I mean, just absolutely ideal, I think, uh, to, when you, to talk about algorithms. And this is all free. Yeah, this is a, this is a free tool. Um, one big drawback, and this is going to be a, uh, a deal breaker for some <laughs> and it's ironic as well there is no privacy policy <laughs> heartbreaker always a heartbreaker so Ooh. um according to our privacy evaluations this would be um a fail it would be a red and um, mm -hmm. i imagine a lot of people your tech leads and are not going to be happy about you using something with our privacy policy but still um you know I don't know what you do with that, but it's interesting. Uh, but the experience is like just in the learning rating for this is really great. It makes the point so clearly, provides a nice, fun context, but that then connects to real life behaviors. The, I, I just wish, like I said, for maybe the alternate perspective, as well as just some context, because one of the other problems here are the business models that drive these algorithms and the assumptions they're making about like Jackie Robinson, why they would, you know, there's, there's learning to be done there about the assumptions that are made about people based on certain qualities that then drive these algorithms that this doesn't quite get into. And of course it doesn't also get into like Instagram, Facebook, Google are driven by ads and those ads are run by algorithms and they want to, uh, modify behavior so they so people make certain decisions. None of that is quite here at a substantive level. But that said, you could build a whole lesson and use this as as the hook that just leads into it. And for that purpose, I just think it's extraordinary. I haven't seen anything quite as good as this. Yeah, it does seem like it would be a great kickoff um, to and then spur kids in different directions for research etc yeah. and yeah i haven't seen anything like this either that explores no. algorithms yeah i think Very we'll see more cool. you know stay tuned i think people will start this will become more important you know like the week we're recording this the instagram news as you know chris you've been doing interviews about it um is breaking about you know the effect of instagram on mental health it's a lot of that has to do with algorithmic driven engagement so we're, you know hopefully we'll see more learning products that deal with this but right now this may be the only uh game in town so check out most likely machine yes let's pull back that curtain for kids so they see how it all gets made how that sausage gets made that's gross <laughs> okay well <laughs> thank you tanner and uh please remember to subscribe tell your friends and um, go to Common Sense Education for more support and information. Hang in there, teachers. And uh, happy Halloween coming up soon-ish. All right.